Our next guest is Melissa, who had an addiction to sugar so powerful, it was destroying her life. This is a cautionary story about a substance that for many is as addictive as drugs and alcohol. My name is Melissa and I'm addicted to sugar. My addiction to sugar is off the chart and out of control. For Missy, sugar is like a drug. Growing up, there was always sugar at my house. And as an adult, there still is. About 90 to 95% of what I eat on a daily basis is junk food or sugar. My sugar craving starts at two o'clock in the morning. If you walk into my kitchen, this is what you're gonna find. Candy bars, cookies, donuts. If it's got sugar in it, I want it. The sugar has just gotten so bad, I can't keep it out of the house. When I was 21, my cholesterol was over 400. I've had stinging sensations in my feet. It feels like a needle sticking in them. I, I don't go to the doctor because I'm afraid to get the answers. My concern is, is she gonna become diabetic? Is she already diabetic? I look at myself as a watermelon on toothpicks. I'm building a tire around my middle section. I do not feel comfortable in my skin, and if I could crawl out of it and leave it on the floor, I would. I have not seen Missy nude in almost 12 years. He's seen my stomach one time, and that was on our honeymoon. The sugar has me. I've tried stopping, and I just keep going back to it, and I don't know how to stop. I'm tired of thinking I've ate so much sugar, I don't want to go out of the house, so I hide it, and it's a problem. It's a problem I need to get rid of so I can be here for my grandkids and so I can be here for my family and so I can live a longer life. I'm at the bottom of the barrel right now and I, I can't do this anymore. I want to know how to change this. Melissa joins us now with her husband, Brian. And just to help everyone realize how deep your addiction may be, I understand that at, in, even at that shoot with all the those sugary foods that we saw on the counter there, that after the shoot, you, you, you had to eat all those. Yeah, all I, of it. If it's in front of me, I, I have to eat it. When something like this occurs, and I'm really referring to what appears to be a true addiction to sugar, you know, Brian, this affects your relationship. It's really hard when you hear that a married couple, that your wife has not felt comfortable in 12 years being naked in front of you, and yet I'm curious the dynamic. Do you ever feel like an enabler? Do you feel, uh, how, how, does that, how does that dynamic work? I almost feel like I, ha I am an enabler. I have to feel like I'm an enabler because she's so addicted to sugars. It's so you'll, so you'll swing by worse. on the way home and you'll, you'll pick up whatever she wants, pie, whatever it is. Uh, yes, sir. I have to. I mean, I, or she'll be sending me out to the store at 10, 12 o'clock at night to get her fix. Is it fair to say that's why you're both here today? because together, the two of you can't fix this because you're addicted, you're enabling. To put this in perspective, everyone watching, the American Heart Association recommends no more than six added teaspoons of sugar a day for a woman. Melissa, you're eating 10 times this amount, so much so, and I'm gonna bring this out because I want you to think about this, 282 pounds of sugar every year. And I would like to reveal this to you just to help you understand how much sugar you're having, and what's your, what's your reaction looking at that? I had no idea.